the that's that's the confusion a lot of people get. I mean, people come into my life now or my store and think, oh wow, this is definitely family funded or something. And it's a it's what makes it a great story is it literally started with a sixty dollar speaker box and it turned into you know millions of dollars of, of inventory and a store and many employees. Um, but it wasn't a get rich get fast business. And that's sometimes a lot of people get confused as that is it. A lot of people say it takes money to make money. Um, but really it takes time to make money is what I think. Well, you trade time, I think, at the earlier stages because you don't have any money, right? And then yeah, that's it. That's all you have, have. yeah. yeah. That's a trade right. of yep. more money for mm -hmm. future money. Correct, but yeah. Tell me a little bit about kind of the growth of USP in the earlier stages. Like you said, you started with kind of nothing. Uh, who were your first clients? What did you focus on? And how did it actually become USP? Um, well, it started out when I was in high school. Um, I started getting involved in car audio. Uh, car audio was big uh, back when I was graduating high school, uh, so it was a business that I kind of stepped in and dominated. Um, I was really good with my hands, working with wood, building speaker boxes. Um, so I started making speaker boxes for about $60 a piece. Um, probably had about $20, $30 of cost into it, so at the time, you know, $30 profit looked great. Um, started building speaker boxes, selling speakers as well in it, so it'd make a little more money, um, and pretty much started out of my mom's garage. Um, till I was about 19 years old. So I, I did about one year in my mom's garage um, after working on cars till 2 a.m. in my mom's neighborhood. It was getting to a point where cops were being called on me. I just, I couldn't do it anymore. Um, so I eventually saved up about $15,000 in a bubblegum jar, um, literally a bubblegum jar, and decided, well, let me go see if I can find a place. I don't need a lot of space. Uh, let me go see if I can find a place to put a few cars into, you know, work wood and, and install car audio. And that's realistically how it started, was with that $15,000. Um, I was able to get a store in Coral Springs. Uh, I walked into the store with about $7,000 first, last, and security, and had about another $7,000 to put some carpet in the showroom, build a wall with my fodder, and uh, just do some basic stuff to, uh, uh, to get the store going. Um, once I started the store, started it with not a drop of inventory. If I needed something, I would order it. Um, and that's realistically how I started the business with $15,000 that I saved up over about a course of a year.